2017 is just about over and it, it was an interesting year definitely now the back half of it was fantastic theater joining APO all of that was just absolutely wonderful so thank you to those people thank you to everybody that was a part of this year whether you were good or bad I learned something from you and we either grew together or grew apart but we grew either way that's all that matters Let's just move on into 2018 now. So the first big thing going on in 2018 for me is obviously school starting again, but this play right here, well, musical right here, You're in Town, the musical, playing Bobby Strong, and one of the, one of the things I learned in 2017 that I'm going to apply to 2018, especially with You're in Town, is like, like I need to stop making excuses for things. Like I, I noticed it a lot in in class this semester. Like I would like there were times where I'd just be like, ah, I don't I don't really need to study for that. I don't I don't I feel like I'm alright, I don't really need to and I like I stop being satisfied I guess instead of making excuses. Like I need to stop being satisfied. Like I I, I was satisfied with B's in half my classes. I was satisfied with like just doing okay and like that thinking back on it that, that just kind of pisses myself off that I let myself get to that point like satisfied with not going to the gym every day and stuff like that like since I've come home I've gone and worked out every single day um, and I I'm that I'll talk about that in a second but like I I, I like I, do, I don't want to be satisfied with things that I that I care about which is obviously the classroom like I want I really want to just push myself to do as good as I possibly can and I really want to like actually take the time to study and do my work well instead of just being satisfied with okay I, I because I, if I feel like if I keep applying that to the classroom then it'll start to uh, it'll start to bleed into other parts of my life uh, like like the video like acting and I and I really don't want that to happen because I definitely noticed it a couple times in my vlog where I was like alright this is just okay I'm satisfied with this and I, I I don't want that to be the case because it's just it's just not who I want to be. I, I, I want to make I want to make great products. I want to be great at just about everything I do, and I want to be great. And I I, I I can't achieve that if I'm just satisfied with okay. And I, I want to get past that point in my life. And that ties in to year in town, which is my first like I don't know if feature length applies to plays. Um, but it's my first like big play, I guess. I was in I was in a one act in high school, and I've been in a couple. I've been in a one act here in Midwestern, then a ten minute scene. But this is like my first like full play, two hours long, real thing, and it's a musical. Uh, I we're not gonna talk about High School Musical, but this play like I I got one of the lead parts of Bobby Strong, and from the moment I got it, I knew that this was not going to be just a normal play for me. I was not going to just be satisfied with okay which i which i like i wasn't for the other plays i wasn't just like okay i'm i feel comfortable with this like i still put forth a lot of effort and i felt good about my performance but i'm looking at this one and i i just feel something special about it and like i really want to just give every everything i have to this play like if, if you know me then you know that me and my xbox and playing video games is like a pretty big part of my life like it it, they're fun things to do. They they fill time, and they're they're a big part of my life. But like until whenever I go back to college, I'm not even taking my Xbox with me. I'm gonna leave it home until you're in town is done with like the working out. This whole during break that is for you're in town, which hopefully turns into a normal lifestyle. That's the goal. I do it so much that it becomes a habit. But it started out as a process for you're in town. Is one getting like in shape for it because I, I have to act and sing and dance all at the same time and I want to be in shape for that but also just like physically in shape like my character's name is Bobby Strong I want to freaking be strong for that <laughs> but I'm like like I said I'm not taking my Xbox back until this is done I am I'm 
uh, installing just about all the games for my computer, uh, I, I really am just going to give forth as much effort as I possibly can to this play and to the classroom because I feel like I, I feel like that was definitely a part of me just selling for okay. I, I, I kind of put that above what I needed to not put it above. I, I worded that weirdly, but I I, I, I had too high of a, a preference for that than I should have, and it I, I definitely noticed it looking back at it now. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty, and hindsight is definitely twenty twenty in the situation. So like, I don't want to completely take it out of my life because it is a big part and it really does mean a lot to me, but. I want to be sure that I can get everything in the classroom right and everything with this play right. Like I, this play, I, I want it to be absolutely perfect. I want my performance to be absolutely perfect. I want to act and sing better than I have ever done before. Like I want to make all my other performances performances look like trash compared to this. To be honest with you, I, I I'm just I'm so excited for it. I've talked about it before. I'm just I'm just so excited for it. And now that I um. And like looking looking in the mirror and I'm realizing these steps that I'm taking to prepare myself for it and to make sure that I'm 100% for it it makes me even more so excited because I know that I'm making those conscious decisions to give up something that means a lot to me for this performance and it I just be sure that you get to those there you have seven chances to come to it and be sure you get to one of them because I, I, I know everybody else is going to do great because I know all the other actors are going to be fantastic, but me me specifically, like, I I don't want to sound arrogant. I, I really don't. That's not what I'm trying to sound like, but I am I am going to absolutely destroy this performance. I am, like I said, I'm giving it everything I have, completely devoting myself to it. It's going to be so good. And then also the classroom. I, I'm looking to, I, not looking to, I applied to study abroad in France the first semester of next summer, and that is um, expensive, first of all, so I need to apply for scholarships, but that also requires me to be intelligent and do good in the class. I'm taking it as my 8 a.m., so I have four days of 8 a.m. French every week, which will definitely take a toll on me, <laughs> but like I said, just I, I don't want to settle, especially not since now I'm going to France for a month and just living in that atmosphere. I want to be as prepared as I possibly can be and I want to make good grades. I'm I'm taking French again, which I, I got a B in. I had a chance to make an A and I really, like, like I said, I, sat, I, I was satisfied with a B in that pisses me off looking back at it that I was just satisfied with that. So like I, I, I want to go as hard as I possibly can in all the classes. I'm taking acting class, which is taught by the director of your in town. So that's going to be interesting to see how that works out whether she just becomes sick of me for seeing me for so long <laughs> or if she's like oh sam you're great well we'll see how that turns out but i'm um, like i don't know i don't i don't really know what's going on in the second half other than school again but uh the first half i've got year in town i've got class which is obviously in the second half as well but i've got going to france i there there are some really big things coming up in just the first half of next year that um, I probably wouldn't usually be giving this much effort to, and I, I tweeted it the other day. If you follow my follow me on Twitter, then you know I tweeted out that I'm going to make 2018 the best year of my life, and I think I think that's the kind of the ideal that everyone needs to take into it. They can't be like, oh, 2018 is going to be the best, yeah, yeah. But like, you have to physically make it that. I was talking to my dad the other day, and um, I was talking about how like you know. The reason, the purpose for this vlog is like I want to do video for career. Like I'm, I'm out here just doing it as whenever I can. And I, like, he was, I was talking about like I wish I had a second camera so that those angle shots, like, because right now I, I only have the one camera, so I have to physically move it, tell him to start over, and then move it back and say, all right, continue on. And it, it gets really awkward. So I was like, oh, I wish I had a second one so it would just make things easier like that. And he was saying, you know what? Um, then just like find the camera that you want and pray pray for it and be like god this is this is the camera that i know that you'll give me and you know that that's what he told me and i was i was thinking about it i was like you know if if like whenever you mention that that's that's not really what i want like yeah it'd be helpful but what i want more than anything is just for for doors to open up for me to advance in life doors 
for this or for acting or for whatever it is, just doors open up so that I can continue to grow in life and find a career and find a profession. And he was saying, then, then we got to the talking about what I said about making 2018 a great year. Like you have to, so many people want to go from A to Z, but they don't want to do all the in between. You have to go through BCD, all that. You have to take the steps. You have to go through the process. You have to go through the grind of get to that point of getting to that point where you want to be. And I, that's what I really plan on doing next year. And every year from then on after that, like like with the working out, trying to make it into a habit. That's what I want to do about 2018 is making it making it into a habit of literally just this. This may sound kind of bad, but. Like, I just want to go into 2018 with just a pissed off attitude. Just like, not like pissy, like I'm mad at everybody, but just like a pissed off, like, let's let's just get after this. Let's just get in there and let's do this. You're in town, let's just get in there. Let's kick its butt. Class, let's get in there. Let's do the best we possibly can. Go to France, so let's, let's come back fluent in French. That is uh, not near as possible. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about? Like, I just want to, I want to physically put forth as much effort as I possibly can into anything and everything that I'm doing so that getting from A to Z is a learning process. B, learn something. C, learn something. Oh, D, there's a door that opens up that takes me to G, and then I, then I, then I work my way to H and then I, and all the way through. And I, I know that I've been rambling and probably talking in circles. I do that a lot. But, I mean, really at the base of it, I just want to make it great. I want to make myself great. I want to stop settling for anything less than great. And that includes the classroom. That includes my performance. That includes the, the vlog. I know it's been dead lately. Nothing's been going on. I'm so I really can't help that. I'm sorry, but I, whenever stuff does go on, I want to make it quality vlogs. I don't want to make it just normal. I want to make quality videos. The I series. I want to I, I want to keep learning from each one and keep improving on them. I'm filming another one this weekend probably and I, I I really do have a good feeling that 2018 some doors are going to be open and it is going to be a great year but I know that it's not going to be as great as it can be if I don't put forth as much effort as I can so I you guys you guys can take that to heart as well like this year can is only going to be as great as you make it there will be doors that will open if you knock on them you you have to put forth the effort you have to make your way through the alphabet, through all those steps, and you really just have you just go into 2018 with that pissed off attitude of let's just let's just do it, let's just get after after everything. And I, I'm excited to see where I take myself, where God takes me, and I'm excited for you in town. <laughs> I've said that so many times, man. I, I'm just ready to to like make amends for what I for what I missed out on last semester of of not making the best videos, not doing the best in class and I I, I want to make amends for that. I want to I, I, I want to make it golly. I, I want to be great. That that's simply the truth of it. I just want to be great in everything that I do. And it's it's I I'm trying to start it now. Why wait till next semester? Start now. Get it done now. And that's just what I want to do is be great. I've already talked about what it includes. I'm not going to say it again because I've been rambling and talking in circles for however long this video has been. <laughs> but I hope you guys also make your 2018 as great as it possibly can be because it, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be a challenge, but the grind is going to be so worth it. Doors will be opened. It'll pay off. God will, light, will lead your way and make 2018 the best year of your life and then just continue to add upon it every year after that. I'm going to stop it right there before I say the same thing for the seventh time probably, but anyways, I, I hope you guys listen, have, like, listen to what I'm saying about my, my expectation for 2018, and I hope that you can apply it to yourself if need be of just stop settling for just good and just work your hardest, put forth as much effort you possibly can to be great. Find something to hold on to that makes you want to be great. Find your own personal thing. I know what mine is. I don't really feel like sharing it. Uh, maybe later, but at this moment, I don't really feel like sharing it because it is uh, it is a pretty personal thing. Um, but find that thing that makes you want to be as great as you can possibly be and just always keep that in mind whenever you're in the classroom, whenever you're in a play, whenever you're working out, whenever you're doing whatever it is you do. Just keep 
on your grind and just keep working through the process and learning everything you possibly can along the way. And I'm sorry this video is just circles and rambling, but that's what I am as a person. I hope you enjoyed, and I want to thank you guys for liking, watching, commenting. Don't forget to subscribe, and as usual, it's been a one-packed joker. Y'all have a nice day.